Oh, uh, no, not all the time. Hello, we're speaking with Clarence W. Udaley, also known as Red Udaley, from the 15th Army Air Force, 464th Bomb Group, 776th Bomb Squadron, who served in Italy out of the base called Pantanella during World War II and was flying as part of a 10-man crew on a B-24 Liberator, which was bombing targets in the Third Reich occupied Europe. He uh, arrived there in 1944, served through the spring of 1945, and we'd like to talk today about some of your experiences. Red, let's go back to the beginning. You were born in 1924 in Mason City, Illinois, and you grew up on the farm there, is that right? Uh, yes. What was that like before the war for you? How, did, how would you describe all that? It's hard to pick any one thing, but all I really remember for mo for the most part mm -hmm. was uh, how hard my mom and dad had to work trying to raise food and so forth yep. to, for the, the girls in the family and mother. Then in, they would can all these products up. Mm -hmm. Without those, we would have had very little to eat. And you had seven kids in the family, right? Yes. Were you the oldest? No, I had an older brother and an older sister. Mm -hmm. So a lot of work must have fallen on your shoulders to get done, though, huh? Yes, we, we, we did. You know, we, we, we just didn't say anything. We just did it and get it over with. Yep. You mentioned uh, having to wipe out those milk cans and all that. That was pretty well, tough this, work, I right? I got a job at the local. Uh, the fellow had just came to... to uh, by this time, we lived in San Jose, Illinois. We found pronounce it that's the yep. uh, and he oh, uh, started a cheese factory and I got a job there working in there and the my first job every day was to wash and steam each uh, 10 gallon and or 5 gallon can after they were emptied and then carry them over turn them upside down so they could dry out well for the truckers to put them back on the trucks. Each can had a number on it. That was a, each that number represented a farmer, so that the truck drivers that knew which uh, the cans to load up on his particular truck. I see. And then that, I wouldn't see them again till the next morning. Mm -hmm. Then the cheese factory, the and in, in the fa cheese factory itself, that's when the starting of the uh, cheese process took off right from there. Mm -hmm. uh, we started out with about uh, 8,000 pounds of uh, milk, raw milk, back in those days, not pasteurized, this in a 10,000 10, pound vat. It's all done all by hand. You cook it up to about 115 degrees, then drained it off. Go ahead. You had the little, little, little uh, small dice in there. Each once you drained way off of it. Now he had nothing but that cheese left. Hmm. From there, you started the process as it were, stacking one piece on top of another. That was the process. Then. So working like this, you must have grown up into a pretty strong, strapping young man, huh? Uh, well, yeah, really, I was. I bet you were. I got so. Uh, and here I was, about 15 years old. I actually drove one of those trucks every morning. I, I made 105 miles every morning, or seven days a week, loading up them 10-gallon uh, cans of milk mm -hmm. up onto the truck, put them in place, take the empties and put it back to or the, wherever the farmer kept it. Mm. You know. Now, you born in 1924. That means that you were about 17 when the United States went to war in 1941. Yeah. But how did you get into the Army Air Force? Uh, I was drafted uh, in, in July, uh, that, uh, or I beg your pardon, February. Mm -hmm. And they did give me, a, because I worked in a cheese factory, I did get a, I think, 40 day or something like that, uh, a little more time before I had to report to the uh, uh, processing center. Mm -hmm. So, 
that would take us up to 1943 when you were drafted. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So your first stop was boot camp, basic training. Yes, with basic training. And that you took a train down to Florida, St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah. What was that like for you? Oh, uh, for me, I like the. This is this is Florida, you know. Yeah. I, I saw trees and so forth that I'd never seen in my life. On this, all saw pictures. Mm -hmm. But the uh, organization itself, it was not nothing to brag about. Everything is sand. We lived in tents. Had to eat out of the mess kits and so forth. Mm -hmm. Sand in lines where might be 150 people in line. It was, and it was pretty. No shower facilities. Sure. It was kind of rough living. Mm -hmm. I was but glad. lots of physical exercise. Uh, every day. All every that kind of stuff. Day. Every first thing in the morning, you take off the upper part of your f fatigue program, and that. Uh, about 40 minutes of uh, 40 to 45 minutes of the, uh, PT every morning, mm -hmm. and then you, now you got the rest of the day. You learn to uh, uh, learn to march, you know. And yeah. Get it. And we went, got back to the mess hall. Uh, out, it's an outdoor thing, and to eat the, the dinner meal. Yeah. And then uh, uh, go back and march some more. You know, we got to learn how. You stomping all over each other at the beginning, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then it got so you get everybody moving together and pretty nice. So I, I, you had to, all this had to take place within a certain given time, because they already had us uh, figured out what where we're going to go when we leave there. So and it, okay. it works real nice in that aspect. <clears throat>